The Secret Life of Bleach. You know bleach as an all-purpose disinfectant. All the germ-busting power of chlorine in a handy container. Bleach unleashes a form of chlorine that is a major problem for germs like E. coli, salmonella, and flu viruses. Bleach and other chlorine products are widely used to disinfect drinking water, swimming pools, and surfaces in kitchens, hospitals, and schools where disease-causing microbes lurk. But how does chlorine kill germs? Until recently, we didn't know. A team of University of Michigan researchers headed by Dr. Ursula Jacob stumbled upon one of the mechanisms while exploring the effect of heat stress on a particular protein found in bacteria. Proteins are the building blocks of life, and each one has a very specific function. Proteins are the workhorses of all cells, including bacteria, and they make them swim and they make them infect people. Proteins are complex molecules with a three-dimensional structure that can be compared to houses. Houses are built for a specific purpose, to live in them. But if the house loses its structure and falls apart, it no longer functions. So what we discovered is that chlorine bleach, very much like heat does, it causes proteins to lose their structure and most importantly to lose their function. You can see this effect when you cook an egg. What happens is when you start applying heat and you put it into the water and you start boiling it, is that the proteins that are in the egg white and in the egg yolk start to, in this process that we call unfolding, they lose their structure. And by losing their structure, they start having the tendency to clump together to other proteins that lose their structure. And you see that when you, t after 10 minutes, you take the egg out and it's very solid. And that's that protein. And if you kill the proteins, you kill the bacteria. But wait, there's more. Did you know that your body contains millions of little bleach factories? We use chlorine bleach in our body for the very same strategy to kill off bacteria to limit bacterial infections. So what we have in our cells is we have these little bl white blood cells that are little bleach factories that are out there to detect bacteria, engulf them, and then release very high concentrations of chlorine bleach to kill them off. So what is interesting when you think about it is we invented chlorine bleach 200 years ago. But in fact, evolution discovered it millions of years ago and used it as a very, very effective antimicrobial. So what I think what our research contributed now is that we understand clear what the mechanism is, how chlorine disinfection works, how it kills bacteria, and how we, in our body, use chlorine bleach as a natural disinfectant. Now, thanks to the work of scientists like Dr. Jacob, we know much more about the secret life of bleach.